Hello guys, um, my name is Edwin. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be answering some questions I received from some of my friends um, from my social media platforms. So someone has asked a question, is pharmacy in skill occupation list? The answer is yes. So pharmacy is key is in skill occupation list in Australia. If you go to the description section of this video, you will see a link that will direct you to Australian immigration website, giving you information about the pharmacy profession. So when you talk about pharmacy being in skill occupation list, you have hospital pharmacies. There is a code. And um, if you go to the link in the description section of this video, it will give you options of visas that hospital pharmacies can actually apply if they're coming to Australia. I remember what I said initially, the first thing first, if you're coming here, you need to um, look at how you need how to get positive skills assessment. And for you to get positive skills assessment, you need to go through some steps. The first one, doing eligibility check to see that um, your pharmacy degree is comparable or equivalent to bachelor's of pharmacy degree in Australia. Then after you've done that, you need to register and sit for CAPS examination. Afterwards, apply for provisional registration and yeah, go about online, start looking for jobs, seek indeed as the case may be. You might get someone who is willing to sponsor you here or you can actually meet the condition to apply for independent um, skill visa like visa 190 or 491 as the case may be. So you also have a um, pharmacy technician, um, people who are pharmacy technician can also come to Australia. So there are visas also available to pharmacy techs to, you know, come to Australia to live and work. Also in the description section of this video, you'll see the options or the categories of visa that pharmacy technician who are overseas trained can actually apply for to come to Australia to work. Definitely, you have retail pharmacies, which some people call community pharmacy. There is also a code in the description section of this video. You will see that retail pharmacy is actually in ski occupation list. And you can apply for visa like 190, 407, 489. There is also 482, a whole lot of visa that you need to apply for. But well, the first thing falls, I will always say in this video is skills assessment. So you don't just start, um, you know, creating profile, maybe EOI or ROI as the case may be in various states or with the Australian immigration website without sitting for this exam. So you need to register for CAPS examination after you're successful with your skills assessment. Then pass CAP examination and you have your positive skills assessment, you need English test. Also, another question of Ox you receive from yeah someone online is do I need English test? And the answer is yes. So you need English test and this is very important because you're going to be working in a country where you know the primary language is English so you will be communicating with customers you communicating with patient as the case may be using English as a means of or as a medium of communication so you need to be assessed to see that you are competent enough to come here and use English language to communicate so definitely English language is an option you have to sit for it and there are various options, so it mustn't be PTE or ISO, there are a lot of options when you're coming to Australia, unlike other countries where maybe, you know, they are streamlined to IS. But if you're coming here, you can go for academic or general IS, as the case may be. There is PTE, there is TOEFL, there is OET, there are a whole lot of English test options that you can actually sit for. If you're coming here to you know live and work as a pharmacist also in the description section of this video we give you um, a list of English language you can actually go for and the thing again is the level of competency expected of you differs from one visa to another so some we need you to have um, um, like more high scores 
if you are going for skill independent visas like 190 or 491 the higher the scores the more points you gather remember the point score where you you know put in your details to know how far you've gone in terms of having scores for your immigration to australia a minimum of 65 points is needed if you have competent english there will be a score for you if you have proficient English and people that have superior English definitely they're going to you know get all the 20 points so English language is compulsory and I have to say there is no way you can run away from it and the good thing here there are resources online you can use to you know practice on your own and make sure you get the, the, the desired score as period of you so just keep practicing and for those who have tried English tests and they didn't get the required so just keep doing your best and um, you know engage friends people have, that have done it in the past you can even go for tutorial sessions a lot of resources YouTube is your best friend you know so keep practicing and I know definitely you are going to hit the desired score and your vision or your goal of coming to Australia or any other country to you know work as a pharmacist is going to be actualized so it shouldn't be something to draw you back you know like I always say if you can speak write and listen to people you know on daily basis if you can listen to them and understand people who speak English why not so just it needs more practice from you and you are definitely going to you know hit the required score so I think these two are the top questions I've I received from um, friends from social media platform in terms of coming to Australia to work as a pharmacist. Along the line, um, I'm also going to bring in my friends who are practicing here in Australia to, you know, share their experiences with you and tell you how the journey has been for them. So it's really a good place to be, and um, I wish everyone coming to Australia to. To work as a pharmacist you know i wish you all the best in your surgeon it's going to be fruitful it's not going to be easy but just one step at a time you know keep burning the midnight candle keep you know being a, a serious candidate at the end of the day it's going to go all well for you yeah you reap the fruit of your labor at the end of the day so Thank guys so much for being a part of this video today. I'm going to be away next time. Until then, do have a lovely day and see you in my next video. Bye.